Worse than the haze of cigarette smoke that constantly hung over the room was the cloud of emotional negativity. Can you believe what they want us to do now? I got that Simmons kid again in this year's math class. He's a holy terror. There is no way you can teach these kids. They are totally out of control. It was a constant stream of negative judgments, criticisms, blaming, and complaining. Exactly the environment that happens every day at my work, but I choose to be away from it. Uh-uh. Instead of having pity parties and bitchy parties, I have vision parties. Not too long after, Jack Canfield, he, won he ended up uh, discovering a group of dedicated teachers that hung out in the library and ate together at two tables in the teacher's lunchroom. They were positive. They, were, they believed they could overcome and handle anything that was thrown at them. So he implemented every day uh, a shared idea with some of these teachers, right? As well as a few more that he picked up along the way on weekend classes. He ended up getting weekend classes at the University of Chicago. As a result, he ended up being selected by the students as teacher of the year in his first year teaching. Can you believe that? Make a list. I want you guys get a pencil right now. Get a pencil. Get a pencil, get a paper. Get a pencil, get a paper, get a pencil, get a paper. Right now. Make a list of everyone you spend time with on a regular basis. Your family members, your co-workers, your neighbors, your friends, people in your civic organization, fellow members of your religious group, anything, so on. When you've completed this list of people, Go back and put a minus sign next to the people who are negative and toxic and a plus sign next to those who are positive and nurturing. As you make a decision about each person, you will find that a, pa a pattern will begin to form. Perhaps your entire workplace is filled with toxic personalities. Back in Vegas, absolutely. Back in Australia, absolutely. Every place has them. You will have those toxic beings and they are life sucking. Okay. Perhaps it's your friends who naysay everything you do. Or maybe it's your family members who's constantly put you down. <clears throat> My family members who pretty much outcasted me because I was just a completely different new wave thinker than they were. And I wasn't giving them all my money. Well, no offense to my family. I doubt that they listen to this, but no offense to my family, but my, especially my brother. I'll put it out there. He wanted me to give everything. And even if I gave everything, it still wasn't enough. That's how he's always been. That's why he's completely out of my life for good. What you have to do, they, that people will judge you from self-esteem and confidence, okay? What you need to do is stop spending time with those people with a minus sign next to their name. If that's impossible, then severely decrease the amount of time you spend with them. You have to free yourself from negative influences, people. Are there people in your life who are always complaining and blaming others for their circumstances? Most foreigners who are the, over the age of 45 or 50, statistically speaking, are running from problems back in their home countries. Yes, they're running from problems <clears throat> back in their home countries. So they come here and they find every little detail. It's crazy because they can have wives. They can have girlfriends. White is power here. They could do whatever the hell they want. They could, they could have a bunch of girlfriends, a lot of uh, mistresses, you name it. But they still spend every little detail. Oh, why can't you do that? Why can't? Why can't? Why can't? Oh, why can't? Oh, oh, oh. Just a goddamn. But get that god. Get these goddamn teachers some warm milk and a pacifier. Holy Jesus! They don't come to milk with their milk. They don't come to work with their milk. Their bottle of milk. So sometimes it's like, hey man, I'm gonna start bringing warm milk to work every day, and I will buy you guys some pacifiers because this shit is pathetic. But I said, no, I'm not going to invest anything into these people. If you guys want to complain, 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 that's your goddamn business. And now they're complaining about me because I'm not part of their bitch party. That's perfectly fine. Are there people who are always judging others, spreading negative gossip like one particular teacher did? Oh, my God. This was the biggest bitchy bitch bitch. I swear I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This was the bitch among bitches. He would sit there and wah, 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 wah. You know what was so remarkable about it? He was so two-faced to the point that the main boss loved him so much. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, my God. This guy's academic writing is absolutely terrible. This guy was one of the most negative people I've came across in my life. And luckily, 
the main lady, she saw it, and she finally kicked that dude out, because this dude was absolutely terrible. Stay away from him. Stop spending time with these people. Are there people in your life who, simply by calling you on the telephone, can bring tension, stress, and distort disorder to your day? You know, sometimes my friend in Australia, before she, uh, in the morning, I used to receive a text from her, and it wasn't a really good text. So I didn't text her for the rest of the day. I'm like, oh, okay, someone's a little mad. I'm not going to text you the rest of the day because I'm not going to start my day off like this. Someone could give you a phone call and just wham, 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 wham. Are there any dream stealers who tell you that your dreams are impossible and try to persuade you from believing and pursuing in your goals? Crazy, huh? Yeah, this particular teacher I used to take the taxi with. I wanted to say, I said, you know what? I want to make this amount a month. I want to make a hundred thousand baht a month. He said, no, it's impossible. No, it's either going to be up or down. Maybe you should find another country to live in. This was the biggest bit. Oh my God. And it's crazy. Well, he's on his way out. That's none of my business and that's none of anyone's business, but goodness gracious. Talk about a dream steal. No, a dream. Hell with the steal. How about a bash? This guy was this. Oh, my God. Avoid them. Avoid all toxic people. Until you reach the point in your self-development where you no longer allow people to affect you with your, their negative t- uh, negativity, you need to avoid toxic people at all costs. You're better off spending time alone and spending time with people who will hold you well, – well, yeah, who will essentially hold you back with their victim mentality and their mediocre standards. Okay, I like what Ray Lewis said. He said, you know what? If you're not pissed off with for greatness, you're just content with being mediocre. Make a conscious effort to surround yourself with positive, nourishing and uplifting people, people who believe in you, encourage you to go after your dreams and applaud your victories. Surround yourself with the positive, you know, the possibility thinkers, idealists and visionaries. If you're going to be successful, you have to start hanging out with the successful people. You need to ask them to share their successful strategies with you. Then try them on and see if they fit for you. Experiment with doing what, with, you know, doing what they do. Reading what they read. Thinking the way they think and so on. If these new ways of thinking and behaving work for you, adopt them. If not, drop them. And keep looking and experimenting. You see, you're going to have to surround yourself and put yourself in a completely dead. People are going to start judging you because you're not joining their bitch parties anymore. I remember I walked in for a split second into the teacher's room, which I really stay away from on Saturdays and Sundays because they sit in circles and they. It's like a nonstop just moaning, moaning, moaning. Oh, my life is falling apart, but I have a wife and kids here. (gasps) party so what i would do well yesterday i walked into this place to get a book out and just at a quick thing i heard a teacher say oh my god the the the, the kids they're always on their phone and the other one's like yeah they always do that this is thailand and i'm like oh my god well guess what my students aren't on their phones the only reason why the students are on their phones it has nothing to do with them it has everything to do with the teacher It has everything to do with the teacher. If you're not doing a job and you're not taking 100% leadership in your class, okay, and teaching them and entertaining them with different things and different ideas, they will get bored and they will just sit on their phones. Absolutely. If you walk in your class, you got six students and they're all on their phones, that shows that that exactly that. That reflects to what type of teacher you are. You're a born ass teacher. That's how it is, man. That's how it is. I mean, yes, there are some times that they will get on their phone and stuff and look at whatever. And well, I guess that's just the mentality of not taking it seriously. But I'll tell you one thing: if you sit there, want the moment you go in and you complain about digital gadgets or telephones, they that's immediately going to get worse. This is how the law works. Whatever you speak about, you bring about. So avoid toxic people. Be selective, okay? I want you to make a list of all the people you associate with. Put a minus and a positive next to their names, okay? Put a, po- a positive sign and a minus sign next to their names. 
And that'll show you there's going to be a huge trend. There's going to be a pattern. You're going to have to extrapolate it and say, you know what? Okay, this person, this person, this person, this, this, this. Okay, I'm going to have to significantly reduce the time that I'm hanging around with these people. Why? Because they are anchors. What you need, you need motors. The motors are the positive people. Okay? So if you need to download this and figure this out, please do. Because this is one of the most important principles out there. Okay? Okay? With that being said, principle number 26 is next. That is tomorrow morning. Acknowledge your positive past. A lot of people like to look at the past and say it's so negative. God damn it, there's a lot of positive in it. Especially with my life. So that's what I'll be getting into tomorrow. If you guys want to join the conversation or ask me any questions, at AJ in Thailand. Until then, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening, let alone weekend. This is your host, Arsenio. Over and out.